Welcome to the second installment of A World Made of Cardboard Assembles. In this video, as suggested by Gojatron, I will be assembling the DIY 3D Creator Mega Robot Destroyer. This foam board kit was sold by the store 5 Below around 2015. The kit includes instructions, several sheets of foam board with a model printed on them, and a box of plastic ball and socket connectors to make the robot poseable. More on those connectors later. Instructions gave a small picture of the parts and a list of the part numbers beside the picture. It made it difficult to find the specific part needed because some of the parts were very similar in shape and size. The part that took the longest in building this model was punching out all the holes and slots needed for the tabs. The connectors that are used to hold the robot together snap through the foam board and lock in place and will not fall out. This makes the robot poseable and pretty durable for its size. Even though each piece had a part number, some of the pieces were not located near the related parts. I spent most of the time looking for parts and punching out the slots needed for the tab and slot assembly. For some reason, as I was building this robot, the theme song to the British sci-fi show Blake 7 was running through my head.
The kit also came with accent pieces to make the robot look more menacing and mechanical. These parts also had the added bonus of helping hold the kit together by locking the big pieces in place. As the model began to come together, I realized that this thing was going to be huge. This is just the arm. Look at the size of this thing. Since it took nearly two hours to build this kit, I'm skipping the assembly of the second arm and only showing the assembly of one leg. Combining the videos like this will also reduce the length of time for this video. I know, don't quit my day job. About halfway through construction, one of the connectors broke. I noticed that there weren't even enough connectors included in the kit to finish the model. Luckily I bought the other kits from this line and was able to rob one kit of its connectors to finish this one. The body of the robot came together quite well. 
However, it was here where the lack of connectors came into play. I had to go rob the other kit to be able to get the full number of connectors needed to make this robot work. Because of this, I'm not sure I'll be able to finish the other robots. I won't have enough connectors to complete them. I have looked on eBay for more of these kits, and I haven't really found many very often. I'm not sure if they're just rare or if the people just don't buy them and put them up on eBay. By this time in the model build, I had the song Come and Get Your Love by Redbone running through my head. My brain is a little weird. I always have a song running through my head. It's one of the reasons why I don't like to listen to music while I'm doing any work. I end up listening to the music and not actually doing my work. Though there was some difficulty in putting some of the parts together, the model assembled very well and looked impressive. The finished robot is quite imposing and big. I put a three and three quarter inch or about nine and a half centimeter final faction figure in the picture for scale.
this is really a fun kit to pose and display. The tank was another model included in the kit. Its instructions, however, were not as detailed as those for the robot, and there were actually some parts that had to be trimmed to get them to fit together. Despite its flaws with missing connectors, poor instructions, and some parts having to be modified to fit, this was a fun kit to put together, and the final result is impressive. I hope you've enjoyed this assembly video. Please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.